few weeks ago, you joined me in discovering what I think is probably the best discovery we've ever had on Barn Find Hunter, the Ferrari and the Cobra. Well, that was a few weeks ago, and we told you that the, that the house and the garage had been condemned and they're gonna be torn down. So we volunteered to help the man representing the owner to come and, and move those cars to a new location. So driving a truck, got a trailer in the back, and uh, we're gonna get dirty today, trying to push cars out of a garage that have been there for 30 years onto the trailer and into the new home. Well, I just looked at the driveway and it's a little bit too steep for me to back the trailer up. The back of the trailer is gonna hit right into it. We'll, we'll look at it, but I think we're gonna have to roll the cars out of the garage and down the driveway and then into the trailers in the street, which is more complicated than I wanted to get into, but it's probably the, the only way we can consider it. All right, next. <laughs> Good, good, good. You looking okay? Yeah, you look okay, Keith. It's a wide trailer for a narrow driveway. All right, all right, Keith, let's think about this. What if we leave it here and we bring the cars down to it? Man, you've done a bunch of cleaning since we've been here last. Quite a lot. Well, that looks good. Uh, I guess we'll just start with the Cobra. What we're trying to do is not touch the, the red, just touch touch the like the bumpers. I'm Keith Irwin. I have uh, Keith Irwin Restoration Shops. Um, I do some work on Tom's cars. Uh, I've known Tom for many, many, many years now. We're we're good friends, and uh, we travel around the uh, the country together sometimes, and. Uh, trying to help him out today uh, move these cars and get them to a safe location. I couldn't get my trailer up the driveway because the back of it's too low and the, and the elevation is too high. So what we did is we put the Cobra in Keith's trailer back first. Now we're gonna put it from Keith's trailer into my trailer front first. You should always put weight on the tongue of a trailer so it tows better. So it'll work out better this way. So we're, we're trying to match up ramps the, the ramps on Keith's trailer and mine, and we'll just push the Cobra from here to here, buckle it down, and then we'll start working on the other cars. Watch your head, watch your head. Well, that, that went easily. Now, the Cobra, even though it's been sitting for 30 something years, it rolled. The Ferrari, I don't think rolls, so we have a whole new complication of jacking the car up on rollers and getting it down the driveway. So that, I'd pay admission to watch that happen. The wheels are stuck on the car. The car will not roll. So what we're gonna do is use these wheel lifts to wheel lift up the car so we can maneuver it around and get it up into the trailer. The first time we tried to get the trailer up here, we couldn't get it beyond the hill. Uh, the, the, wheels of the truck were spinning. So this time we got a rake and cleaned the leaves out of the way and Keith got a flying start and he was angled just right, right up that driveway. Cause it's a big trailer and a small driveway with lots of overhanging trees. And he powered his way all the way up. So this is good news. What we're gonna try to do now, since the, the Ferrari is on the jacks, we're gonna try to turn it around in this area here. And then he, Keith's got a winch, we can just winch it right up. This is working out really well. Oh, okay. Yeah, we go forward. All we're doing is putting on a soft strap. Keith's attaching a soft strap to a piece, the front cross member, uh, because if if the strap comes in contact with aluminum, we want to keep it soft so it doesn't damage it. Push the 
too afraid for me. This episode of Barn Find Hunter is different than the other ones you've seen. We didn't discover any cars this time, but this was about what happens when you find the cars, when you have discovered them. We discovered these cars about a month ago, but what happens when you have to move them from where they've been sitting? Today was all about movement of cars. Some were stubborn, some were easy, some rolled on their own, some had to be coaxed a little bit, some had to be winched in, some could be pushed in the trailer. This is all part of the Barn Find experience. If you plan on attending the Amelia Island Concours, head on over to the Gooding & Company auction, which will be Friday, March 9th, where you'll see this Cobra and this Ferrari go on the block during the auction. And if you can't make it there, we'll be down there to cover it as well. It'll be part of a future Barn Find Hunter episode. I've been doing this a long time, hunting for old cars. You find what you find. You can't go out looking for a Duesenberg and expect to find a Duesenberg. You, you stumble across Ford Mavericks and, and Plymouth Valiants and Renault Dolphins. And not that there's anything wrong with those, but you always dream about King Tut's tomb. And, and this garage, in some ways, for my lifetime, is King Tut's tomb. This garage held, well, a Ferrari was over there, and a Cobra was over here, and a TR6 Triumph over there and a Morgan V8 over there, and none of them had over 19,000 miles on them. One of them only had 9,000 miles on them. So, you know, I think I could probably spend the rest of my life looking in garages and barns and never duplicate what I'm experiencing right now. It, it's an amazing feeling. I sure hope I find another find like this, but if I don't, I can say I did it. I didn't just read about somebody else doing it. I didn't see it on TV. I lived it. Pretty cool. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Happy hunting. I bought that truck seven years ago for $100, and we've got 565,000 miles on it now. It's been a good one. Good old Ford 7.3 diesel.